the owners of the club, they listen, they don't. The Glazers. The Glazers, they don't, they don't care about, about the club. I mean, professional uh, sport. As you know, this Manchester is a marketing club. They will get his money from the marketing. The sports, it's, they, they don't really care, in my opinion. Do you ever talk to them, the Glazers? Never. Never? Never. Not since you've gone back? No. They give all the power to the president, the sport directive. A lot of Manchester United fans are very negative about the Glazers. They think they're taking all the money out and not spending enough on players, on the infrastructure issues you talked about. Do you think the fans are right? The fans are they're always right. I think the fans should know the truth, should know that the players, we want the best for the club. I want the best of the club. This is why I'm coming to Manchester United. This is why I love this club. But you have some things inside the club which is don't help to Manchester reach the top level as City, Liverpool and even now Arsenal, for example, which is complicated. It's difficult. Um, it's hard. In my opinion, it will be hard for Manchester to be in the top of the game the next two or three years. One of your biggest critics has been, and I'm surprised about this. Me too. Wayne Rooney. For who, example. Who you played with for many years very successfully and were good friends with him. And yet all this year, three or four times, he's come out and attacked you in the media. Pierce, I don't understand. Uh, you should ask this question to him, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why he criticized me so bad or... Is it jealousy as well, perhaps, that you're still playing and still in the probably, United United Probably, probably, because he finished his career with 30s, so I'm still playing high level. I'm not going to say that I'm looking better than him, which is, is, is true, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's, that it's, is inarguable. I mean, there's no contest. It's, it's hard to listen that kind of criticize and negative about people who we play with you. For example, Gary Neville as well. Yeah, I mean, Gary Neville, you blanked him the other day uh, on the pitch, and he looked quite upset, actually, because um, he obviously likes being your friend, but he's been pretty critical of you as well. The, you the people have... Can, have, can have his own opinion, but they don't really know what's going on, for example, inside the, the, the training ground and Carrington area, or even my life. They should listen not only one point of view, they have to listen my point of view as well, because it's easy to, to criticise, but... If you don't know the old story, it's 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 easy, you know. But it's Pierce, as I say before, it's it's part. Are they of... still friends of yours, or do you have a line where they are not my friends? Do you feel a bit betrayed when they do that because yes. you because you played together? It's easy. It's easy to criticize. I don't know if you have a job in television that they must criticize to a, to be more famous. I really don't understand. Do you think they use your name a bit to get attention? I think they take advantage of that because they are not stupid. And I really understand and I have to carry on with my life with criticize, criticize or, or when the people speak good about you, but it's hard when you see people who was in the dressing room with you criticizing that way. It must hurt It's you. not good. Yeah. Yes, I did, but not hurt I, I, I'm not gonna be more slim. I'm not gonna sleep bad because of the criticize, but it's not good to listen that. Disappointing. A little bit, yes. Mm. Disappointing. You've lost your baby son and now your baby daughter's in hospital. Exactly. And you must have been absolutely... I spoke with the directive of and the president of uh, Manchester United and then kind of that didn't believe that something going wrong, which is, is make me feel bad. Really? Yes, I... Yes. They didn't believe you? They believe you, but in the same way they are there and never is ever going to change uh, the health of my family for a football. Never. Now or 10 years uh, behind or forward. And it's something that really hurt me because they doubt of my words that I struggle, especially Bell and Gio. We had one week in hospital because the Bell have a big problem. And I didn't go to the preseason because of that, because I didn't, I didn't, was allowed to left my family if something happened to do it the preseason because 
I think it wasn't not fair to left my family for a preseason. This is why I didn't go.